Hello everyone, welcome to Kara's house. Today we've got an unboxing for you. It is the Zwift Play Controller. Okay, let's open these up. I bought these from the Zwift UK store. They wouldn't ship to where I live in Guernsey, so I had to get them couriered over probably because of the battery. We can't um, fly in batteries on the normal mail. Okay, let's have a look around. Charge the integrated battery with my USB-C, nice. Play attaches to the handlebars, nice. Nice. And scan the app for the setup instructions. Navigation button, steering, easy to install. Fantastic, let's just have a look. Okay, we've got a little book which is the quick start guide, a Zwift sticker. The first one, oh, that's, um, that's pretty cool, to be honest. So we've got steering and a rocker switch. That's gonna be this side. So we've got Y, Z, A, B. There's a nice click and a battery charging port at the front. USB-C in there, that covers that up. Oh, I've turned it on accidentally. Okay, so we've got the other side, uh, which will be the direction buttons. That is pretty cool. Oh, the button is actually the front. Yeah, the button is actually the Z. I didn't know that. You just push the Z. It doesn't go down very far. But it does go down, so those are those are pretty cool. Right and left. Right, let's just put them out of shot and see what is in this orange box. Well, that's well sealed. I mean, oh, I'll just open it for the end. Oops, I've ripped it now. Can't send them back. We've got the shims for the controllers for the. So that fit your drops, put the shims in, I'm assuming. And we've got a split charging cable by the look of it. Let's just unwrap this. We've got USB standard one end, a cable, and splits into USB-C. So you can charge them whilst you're riding. That's gonna be great. Uh, quick setup, we've got it in English, French, Dutch and Spanish. So basically there's a left and right controller, you put them on your handlebar, either with the shims or without, there's a charging cable. Um, it tells you where they go left and right. How to attach, so they go right up underneath your shifter there, which is cool. Okay, put in the spacer if the controller isn't secure. That's how it should look once you've done it. Okay, and then it tells you what they are. So the left one is navigation. It tells you where the buttons are. And the right one is the action buttons. It tells you how to power them up. It tells you how to charge them. It tells you what different things mean, how to connect in the game, or you can update them as well. Download the Swift Companion up to a mobile device to keep your Swift Play controllers up to date. That's interesting, I wouldn't have known that. And then powering down, they will go to sleep after use, or, and then you just press the button to wake them up. Okay, cool, so I don't have to shut them down. And there's some support there. Wonderful, that's fantastic. Right, let's give them away. Okay, so the left hand one is 114 grams. Right hand one is 113 grams. The shims are 14 grams a pair. I don't know why I'm wearing a cable, but we're gonna. And the cable, if I can keep that bit on the scale, is 42 grams. So everything is 281. So those are gonna be very cool. So now I can just zoom through the menus with this. That's gonna be great, I can't wait to use these. 
Um, I'll leave a link to them in the description below. Let me know if you've got some and how you are getting on with these. If you've if you've used them in anger, I'll probably be using these in a few days. So I'll have a video up probably in a few weeks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, just a quick note on that. If you aren't subscribed, please just click subscribe. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, and it helps me out. That would be fantastic. And um, thanks for watching this unboxing video of the Zwift Play controller. We'll see you on the next car house. Take care. Bye.